For 2.5 million years, the Earth's climate has varied, moving between extremely cold ice ages and warmer periods. But in the last century, Earth's temperature has risen unusually fast by nearly one degree Celsius. Scientists believe that human activity is making the temperature go up, a process known as global warming. And many are worried the situation is becoming critical. Ever since the Industrial Revolution, factories, power plants, and more recently cars have burned fossil fuels such as oil and coal, releasing huge quantities of carbon dioxide and other gases into the atmosphere. These greenhouse gases trap heat near the Earth through a naturally occurring process called the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect begins with the sun and the energy it sends to the Earth. The Earth and the atmosphere take in some of this energy while the rest goes back into space. Naturally occurring gases in the atmosphere trap some of this energy and reflect it back, warming the Earth. Scientists now believe that the greenhouse effect is being strengthened by greenhouse gases that are released by human activity. Evidence for global warming includes a number of unexpectedly warm years in recent years. Scientists report that 1998 was the warmest year in measured history and 2005 was the second. Studies of ice cores show that greenhouse gases have reached their highest levels in the past 420,000 years. Arctic sea ice is also shrinking. According to NASA studies, the area covered by Arctic sea ice has decreased by about 10% in the last 30 years. If countries continue to use a lot of fossil fuel resources, the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere will continue to rise. Researchers predict that temperatures will increase by about one to six degrees Celsius by the end of the century. So what are the possible consequences for the environment of these rising temperatures? Some climate models say there will be only slight changes. Others predict rises in sea levels that could flood coastal areas. Changing weather patterns could make huge storms like hurricanes more frequent. Extreme droughts could become more common in warm areas and some animals which may not be able to adapt could face extinction. There is still a lot to be learned about global warming. However, many believe that governments and corporations can help to reduce the impact of global warming by cutting greenhouse gas emissions. Consumers can also help by saving energy around the house. For example, by using light bulbs that require less energy and driving fewer miles each week. These simple changes may help to keep the Earth cooler in the future.